Hello everyone and welcome to the finale, hopefully, of my Pokemon X Wonderlock. Today we're going to be challenging the champion Diantha with our four remaining Pokemon, which are Rotom, Blaziken, Reuniclus and Leafeon. So without further ado, I'm going to go and start. I've no idea what Pokemon she leads out with though, so I'm going to start off with Reuniclus. As long as it's not a Dark type or a Ghost type, we should be fine. So yeah, he says that now, but who knows. Let's enter the uh, Diantha's chamber. Or the Radiant Chamber, as it's called for some reason. Let us run, run, and there we are. Shining light on the center pad, and we shall rise into the light. And here we are, in the final chamber. We are greeted by Diantha. The champion of the Kalos region, who we can't see. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you may know, must know, I'm the champion, Di champion Diantha. Oh, but you are... You're the child I spoke to in Lumion City and Kumarian City, aren't you? Then that means you are also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like uh, such a fool not to recognise you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flare for us all. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you, you saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now. Now I know exactly what it is you've done already. Let's do it, Diantha! Let's battle! It's Diantha, the Pokemon League Champion. Boom, 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 boom. You're challenged by Champion Diantha. Let's do this. Sent out Hall Lucha. Okay, so we're pretty much set for at least the first Pokemon because we have a super effective type and stab move against it, etc. So hopefully we shouldn't get taken out too badly by Hall Lucha. <laughs> Let's go for a Psychic. Almost went for Power Up Punch there for some reason. Don't know why, but oh dear, X says that's not good. But we resisted it like a boss. Reno is such a tank. And. Took out Horlucha like a boss also. Okay, what Pokemon is coming out next? Probably Dark type. Cool Geist. Ghost type. So, Grass Ghost type. Blaziken is a very viable option for its super effective Blaze Kick. Rotom, not so um, not so viable because it's weak to grass type moves. And Leafeon, it's him in the middle really. It doesn't get any stab super effective moves, but it doesn't get bite. So, we're going to go to Blaziken since it seems like the best choice at the moment. Obviously, don't want to stay in re re with Reuniclus because of its weakness to the ghost type. So, here comes Gorgeist. Thank god it's not a, a Harvest Trevenant because that thing is really damn annoying. We're going to go straight for Omega Evolution because it's the only uh, Mega Pokemon I have alive still. And we'll go straight for the Blaze Kick. So, Mega Blaze Kick, let's go. Let's do this. Mega Revolve time. Boom. Epic Cry and such. And we go for the Blaze Kick. And it misses. Damn it. <laughs> Trick or Treat, which changes my type into a Ghost type. Which unfortunately removes my stab, or was added, so it might override the fight type, or it might just like go fight, fire, fight, ghost, I'm not sure. So hopefully we'll still have the stab from the blaze kick here. It seems like we probably do, although we couldn't take it out. We could, we might have taken it out, even if we didn't have the stab. There's no idea. We, don't, we have no clue. So let's do this. Speed boost again. Eris gave me a prize money power level 1. Thank you, Eris. Tyrantrum is coming out. Rock dragon type. Um, we could go for Leafeon, which would get neutral damage with its stab. We could go for Rotom, which would also get neutral damage with its stab. We can get Reuniclus with... It's got a fight, it's not a stab though, but we get neutral damage with its stab. Or Blaziken we can stay in with, who could get uh, super effective damage with its stab from the Sky Uppercut. Assuming we still have the fighting type, unfortunately. We don't know. Let's go and use the Sky Uppercut. It avoided the attack and used the Head Smash. Oh dear. Oh dear. No! Whoa, that's close. That was close. I think I'm going to use a Hyper Potion here to restore my health points to maximum. And see where we go from there. Damn, because obviously we're weak to Rock type, but we'll also resist it because of the Fighting type on us. So we take neutral damage from it. But that Tyrantrum is beastly powered. Crunch. Just going to do... No, it did still a fair bit of damage there. Uh, I think we can probably take it out with the rest of that health point. So I'm going to go straight for the Sky Uppercut here. Hopefully we don't miss this time. We don't. And the Sky Uppercut hits. And... Yes! We took it out. Awesome. I was worried a second there. We might st we might have lost our fighting types. So we didn't have stab anymore. But it seems we might do still. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're super speedy now. So Gudra is coming out. Which is a dragon type. So we could either go... Uh, Blaziken will have one neutral and one not very effective stab type. Uh, stab move, sorry. Renuclus will have one neutral stab move. Rotom will have uh, 
this will have no new chest stab moves and neither will leaf you on so uh, blaze can does seem like the best choice but i'm going to re nicholas because i don't know i just lost the speed boost on my blaze can have I? which was, could be a bad thing but i don't know i don't want to sweep my mega that's just too easy he said two episodes ago when he lost two as pokemon okay so at the same level, let's go for a Psychic and see where that gets us. He's going to use Dragon Pulse. We are a beast though, so we should be able to survive it. Yes indeed, we actually took it pretty damn well. Let's go for a Psychic, and it's also a Special Defense Beast, so... We're both going to use another move. Dragon Pulse will not do enough to take me out, hopefully. Uh, and I'm not, gonna, not going to do enough to take it out either. So we're both going to go for a Hive Potion next, which is, you know, predictable which will then put us on an equal footing and since I'm doing more damage per move than it is doing per, it is doing per move I shall win, technically it still has one, she still has one other hyper potion though so she might end up using that, we don't know we do not know let's go for the psychic, it's going to go for the dragon pulse yet again it's got, how much damage did it do, like 30 or 40 damage? uh no, it did like 70 <laughs> fail, 60-70 Okay, it lowered its special defense as well, which is awesome because that means we might be able to take out in the next turn thanks to its special defense being lowered, but we don't know quite yet. Here comes the Dragon Pulse again. Psychic should maybe take it out. Oh, just. She's going to go for another Hyper Potion, because, or Full Restore rather, because she has two of those, I think. I'm not sure how many she has in total, maybe three. Uh, I'm going to go for another Psychic. We can take another Dragon Pulse, I definitely know that. And there goes its special defense again. It is probably going to use another Dragon Pulse, uh, but it won't take us out unless it's a critical hit, obviously. Let's hope it's not a critical hit. No, it's not. And we get the Psychic, and we shall finish off the Gudra. Awesome. So that's what, three down? Is it three? Maybe one, two, I don't know. It might, might be three, I'm not sure. Rene Nicholas has grown to level 67. Thank you, Rene Nicholas. That's good. Uh, she's going to send out Aurorus, which will die from a fighting type move. So, Blaziken, you're up, <laughs> obviously. There's no other better choice. Well, we could have used Rotom, but... Here comes Aurorus. How many Pokemon has she got left? Two, just these two. Okay, I'm not even going to bother to, you know, heal up. Just going to strip the Sky Uppercut, and that thing will be dead. Just so dead. <laughs> you might as well just pommel it into the ground. It's just a pile of dirt now. Okay, speed boost. Okay, it's Guard of Wild that's coming out next, of course, which is her mega evolution. I'm going to switch out to Rotom because we haven't seen any of him in this battle. It's just been Blaziken and Re Nicholas so far. So hopefully we get to see Rotom and Leafeon in this final Pokemon battle. Or this final battle against, battle against the final Pokemon. That's the one. But we shall have to see, won't we? Because obviously Guard of Wild is a psychic and it's got a levitate. That's. <laughs> damn it, it might not be a best move on my part, but well. We're going to use the Thunder Wave because I don't know quite why. <laughs> She's got a Mega Charm rather than a Mega Ring. But yeah, I'm going to go for the Paralysis because I don't know why. I thought for some reason the Mega Evolution took up a turn in my head. I don't know why. Here comes the Moon Blast. Hopefully we survive it. Yes, we did. Let's go for the Thunder Wave. We're just going to obviously paralyze. Awesome. And now we are faster with all our Pokemon. Pretty damn much. Um, do we want to go for a Hydro Pump? Ooh, it's a tricky one, because obviously it's going to take us out with another Moon Blast, so I think I'm going to switch out to Leafeon. I think Leafeon could take the Moon Blast, like Rotom did, because Rotom's not particularly a defensive Pokemon. So, let's see how we do here. Go on, Leafeon, let's do this. Hopefully it just stays paralysed. Nope, use another Moon Blast. Hopefully Leafeon survives. Indeed you did, Leafeon, but your special attack fell, which, is, which isn't too bad, because we got a Leaf Blade and that's a physical move. Let's use a Hyper Potion to get you to full health there, and we'll just, I think it will just hang out until uh, Guard of War gets paralyzed, or, you know, is fully paralyzed. Moon Blast again. So yeah, we're going to hang out until either um, Guard of War gets fully paralyzed, or we just, you know, die from a critical hit. Our special attack keeps falling, but we don't really care because we're not a special attacker. We're going to go for a Leaf Blade when we have the chance. Moon Blast again. Come on, Guard of War, be paralyzed already. Stop being a douche. We seem to be taking these hits better and better each time. <laughs> I don't know. Hyper Potion again. We've got 17 left. It's not really going to run out. And I said I wasn't going to use any, but pff, who cares? Or use many. Or, you know, try and use as least, little as possible. Yes! Fully paralyzed, finally. Okay. It means we have the chance to go for a Leaf Blade. Because it's not particularly heavy, so... And um, Bite is not going to get stabbed, even though well, it's going to do neutral damage, but it's not going to stab. Covet, same. So we go for the Leaf Blade. And see where that gets us. 
Damn! Almost one hit killed. Killed. Hopefully we resist this. Yes, we do. And we're faster, so... Okay, she might get for four store. That's a point. God damn. God freaking damn. I think that God of War is going to be faster than me as well. Even though it doesn't look like it can run at a huge dress of it, but we shall see. Ugh. I don't... I can't... I can't... There's no way I can actually tell if it's, you know, going to be faster than me, because I have to use a hyper potion to full store. Uh, or, to, you know, to get full half points. And then it's going to use Moon Blast. And then I have to use full store again. So there's no way I'm going to be able to tell, unfortunately. I'm going to switch out, because I don't want to lose Leafy on. So I'm going to go out to... Blaziken's taking new damage from that thing, so Blaziken's the only one that can take a Moon Blast, I think, at the moment, because it's mega. But it might die. It's a, it's a, it's a possibility. Ooh. Ooh do, 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 do. Moon Blast, obviously. We're going to resist it with the fire, but be weak to it with the fight. So hopefully we can resist. No! Not Blaziken! Ah, <sighs> we lost Blaziken, okay. Um, who's got the best speed, basically? That's what we're looking at now. Speed 119, speed 142. So Leafy on is best is, is, the, is the best, and it's it's got a speed boost on quick powder, of course. I forgot about that. Let's go for a leaf blade. Hopefully we're faster. No, we're not. No, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna lose this battle. We're gonna lose this freaking battle. Oh no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose, guys. We're gonna lose this one a lot. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do at all. I can heal, but that's all I can do. I can heal. Yes, I could. I could heal Reuniclus up, but I can't now. Actually, I can still. We're gonna have to sacrifice Rotom to heal up Reuniclus. That's what we're gonna have to do. Because Reuniclus is our only hope, and even that isn't a brilliant hope because it's only got it's got a not very effective move on it. Thunderbolt. We're gonna resist. Yep, and die. R.I.P. Rotom, R.I.P. Leafeon. <laughs> it's down to Reuniclus now. We've got it at full health though, so it's, it's you know it's a good, better chance. We've got Pain Spit. That's not going to be very helpful, is it? Recover also not very helpful. So we're going straight for the Psychic. We have a Mind Plate, I think. Oh no! Yes, Reuniclus, you beast. Psychic. Damn, hardly doing any damage at all. She's going to go for another four store. Actually, I don't know if she's going for. Oh. I don't know if she'll go for 4-store or not, because I don't know how many she has. Ugh. We are actually... Are we faster than it? Are we actually... No, we're not faster than it. But obviously, yeah, okay. So we're both at 4 half points now. She does, she does over half damage to me, though. And I I do hardly anything, so we're just going to die. Oh, God, no. Okay, we, we, didn't, we didn't have more than half damage there, did we? But we're still... Hopefully the Psychic lowers Special Defense at some point. How much damage did we take from that last one? We took 120 damage, so... Being really risky here, pretty much, because we could... <laughs> I think we're going to lose this battle. We're not... We're going to lose... Yeah, we lost the battle. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> we lost... Oh, God. <sighs> what to do? What to do? So... Lost all our Pokemon, so I think that's probably the end of the Wonder Lock. Yes, you could say, train at the Pokemon from the PC, but my sort of, what would you call it, my attitude on that is if you lose all your Pokemon when you're battling the Pokemon League, then that's it, pretty much. That's what I do as you do, you know, because I don't, I don't want to train up a load of, you know, these six Pokemon here, or whatever, six, you know, because uh, we never met them before, so it would be like using a whole different team, it wouldn't even matter. So we shall remember our team how they are now. Reuniclus, the beast. Um, Blaziken, the one that was with us for a long time. Rotom, the newcomer that was doing pretty well, to be fair. Wiped out the whole of the Sea uh, of team. Same with Leafeon. Uh, Aegislash, the one uh, that never got to use its signature move, I think. Did, it, did we use it? I'm not sure. And obviously Gengar, the other longer, longish <laughs> standing member of our team. So yes, we shall remember them how they are now. It's a shame we didn't get to win, but you know. And I'm not going to go for it just for the after game bit, like the after um after you beat the Pokemon champion, like the um the ceremony and shit, because that's just boring. So we shall just finish it here, guys. Um, we shall remember other Pokemon we, we lost. Uh, Elekid, our very first loss, and my favorite Pokemon we lost. You know, it was after the uh, yeah after the first gym, almost the second gym as well. Rog and Roller, the one we didn't really... Well, was, yeah, this is our 16 Massacre, I think, here. 
So it was Rog and Roller, Ivysaur, Litleo, Axew, Frogadier, and Carbink. Was it Carbink? That's why we didn't have Carbink at this point. Who was it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably Skitty, actually, yeah. Skitty there. Gyarados, Armega. It's level 92 because I was using it for all the training, so uh, good on you, Gyarados. So yeah, Gyarados actually, we had Gyarados for a long while. How did it die? Must have been a critical or something, I'm not sure. Shogun, the one that almost became a Salamence. Salamence, the one we never used, um, even though we got it. won the trade. Actually, we did use it, but it like died just after. <laughs> Mandibuzz, the one we strived for weeks and weeks to get to a Mandibuzz and then died a few levels afterwards. Greninja, our second of the... Uh, of the trail who lasted a fair time in our party. Absol, the one who died the episode it came in. Aromatisse, the one that was actually around for about the same time as Gyarados, to be fair, even longer actually. And then Crobat, the one that unfortunately died in Victory Road. Same with Aromatisse, actually. Uh, and maybe it's Absol as well, I'm not sure. Yeah, same thing. But yeah, and obviously Dratini's down here is a trade. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about that. And the ones that we never used, Zig Zog or Zigzagoon, whatever. Uh, Helioptile, which I never got to use. Vivillon, who I just trained up for the pattern. <laughs> Dragossa, who we never used. Beedrill, who I just trained up for the fun of it. Linoon, same training up for the fun of it. Charmander, the one I never used because we have this Charizard here, who we never used because of Blaziken. Ghastly, the one we never used because we already had Gengar. Scatterby, another Scatterby, Scatterbug, another Scatterbug. Uh, Greninja, the third member of the Greninja line we didn't use because that's just a HM slave. Didn't want to use another one. Fletchling, the one I never used there. And Fortress, the one I trained up but we never got around to using. And my event Torchic at the bottom there. So yes, that's it for my uh, Pokemon X Wonderlock, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the sort of series, I guess. If you enjoyed the series, well, it'll be an episode question, I think, I'm going to put it as have you enjoyed the Wonderlock, etc. Uh, leave your thoughts on the whole series in the comments below. It'll be very helpful to me. I love hearing feedback about my uh, my series and stuff, and it really helps make better videos. My next Let's Play, my Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, will be starting, hopefully as soon as possible. I need, I'm, basically, the only thing I'm waiting on is a layout for that. Um, hopefully, I've got as many eggs. Or I'll be accepting eggs throughout the Egglock anyway, so... But yeah, hopefully I've got majority of eggs now. Uh, should we take a picture? Let's do it. It's cool. Fill the photo guy over. Take a photo. Let's do this. I have to sort of do it myself, don't I? Oh my god. I can't do this. Okay. Managed to fill, fill flies. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we can get here. There we are. What does this thing do? Oh, there. Helps adjust that. Etc. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. It's night time then. Is it night time? It's pretty, pretty dark for night. Pretty light for night time. Oh, yeah, I did that already. What does this do? Eh, who, who cares? Okay, let's take a picture. And... Oh, they didn't take a picture. How do we take a picture? R. Let's save this photo. To remind us of the Wonderlock. Unfortunately, you can't have your Pokemon with you like, um... You could with Hot Gold and Soul Silver, but oh well. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, guys, as I said... Thank you for watching. Please do leave a thoughts on the series as a whole in the comments below. I shall be seeing you in my next Let's Play. And um, this is Christmas Eve today. This episode's going up. So uh, I'm sure I'll have a special video for you tomorrow as well. Uh, not necessarily a special video video, but a little update video or something like that. Which you'll have to see. So yes, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and the series. I shall be seeing you in my next Let's Play series and my other videos. So guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>